Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I have a really useful tool I'd like to share with you guys. It's called iFaith. I Hate Snow, the creator of iFaith, has just released it today after many months of work with many developers. And basically what iFaith does is it allows you to save your SHSH blob or file of the current firmware your device is running. That firmware does not need to be the latest updated firmware that Apple signs. So if you're running an older firmware that you'd like to get the SHSH file for, you can do that using iFaith. Just to clear things up, iFaith will only save the SHSH blob of the current firmware your device is running. Take for example my iPod Touch is running firmware 4.3.1. I haven't saved this SHSH file because it's too late and Tiny Umbrella no longer can save it because Apple no longer signs the 4.3.1 firmware. Well iFaith can do that, but your device must be on the firmware you're trying to get the SHSH file for. Okay, so we're going to be saving my 4.3.1 SHSH file. For you, it's whatever your device is running. It will not save any previous SHSH files you may have saved using Tiny Umbrella. This is a completely different program. Now, some of you guys may be wondering why do this? Why save your SHSH using iFaith? And you never know, maybe you wanna update in the future, but you're worried about the new firmware. Maybe there'll be no jailbreak. The performance isn't just the same, and maybe you'll wanna downgrade to the current firmware you're on. So you wanna make sure that SHSH is saved using iFaith faith before updating. Okay, so with all that finally out of the way, we can get started. You'll need iFaith on your desktop. You can get it from the link down below, but this is only for Windows for now. Mac support is coming very soon, but go ahead and open up iFaith from your desktop. It'll initialize, and we can click OK, and then we click Dump SHSH Blobs, and it'll tell us which devices and firmwares are supported. Click Proceed. Let's go. And if you're saving the SHSH file of an Apple TV, you'll click yes. Obviously, I'm not, so no. And now we're going to power off our device. And we're going to wait five seconds. We're going to click start, wait five seconds before holding home and power together. So, one. Now hold home and power for 10, 9, 8, seven six five four three two one let go of the power button and keep holding the home button i faith should recognize our ipod in just a second there we go so now this is going to take a while it'll go through the whole process and in the end it'll have our one shsh file saved Okay, so iFaith is now asking me where I want to keep my SHSH file it just saved, and I want to save it on my desktop, so go ahead and click Save. Okay, so I finally saved my SHSH blob using iFaith. Now I want to show you guys a couple things you can do with it on iFaith. You can show available SHSH files on the server. This is useful if you lose yours or you get a new computer. But as you can see, I have the 4.3.1 on the server. Okay, you can also build a custom IPSW with your SHSH blob that'll let iTunes restore your device or basically downgrade it. And it'll actually download the firmware file if you don't have it, or you can browse for it. And this will basically build the custom IPSW with your SHSH file implemented so you can downgrade. Okay, well that's pretty much it guys. That's how to save that SHSH file you may have missed using Tiny Umbrella as long as you were on that firmware. But thanks a lot for watching guys. This is a very useful tool. Please leave a comment. Don't forget to rate. Also subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day guys.